Hey guys, who likes adding fractions? Well, I certainly do. All you need to remember when you're adding fractions together is that the bottoms or denominators have to be exactly the same on both fractions. Check this out. 2 over 7 plus 4 over 7. The bottoms are the same. Good stuff. What you do is you add the tops 2 plus 4 and you keep the bottom. There you go. 2 sevenths plus 4 sevenths gives 6 sevenths. Top plus top, keep the bottom because they have to be the same. You want something more challenging? Uh oh, the bottoms aren't the same here. I'm gonna have to do a little work. Now this is where equivalent fractions comes in. But I'm gonna show you basically what you have to do. We need some bottom that we can turn both of these bottoms into. Now I'm gonna tell you straight off, the number we're looking for is 21. How do you turn seven into 21? Well, you multiply seven by three to get 21. If you do it to the bottom, you have to do it to the top as well. So what I get here is two times three and seven times three. Okay, this is an equivalent fraction to this. We just multiply the top and bottom both by three. How do I turn three into 21? And the answer is multiply by seven. Check this out. One times seven gives me seven. Three times seven gives me 21. <coughs> I multiplied this fraction by three on top and bottom to get it out of 21. And I multiplied this by seven top and bottom to get out of 21. Once it's out of 21, top times top, sorry, huh, top plus top, Keep your bottom. And this is my answer. Yeah. How about this one? What can you turn both of these into? Well, you, you could turn them both into 96. You could turn them both into 48. You could turn them both into 24. Which one do you want to choose? I choose 24. How do you turn 8 into 24? multiply by 3. So what I get is 3 times 3 out of 8 times 3. How do I turn 12 into 24? Multiply by 2. What I end up with is 14 on top, 24 on bottom. And now that I've done this and gotten the same bottoms, top plus top, Keep your bottom. It's as easy as that. FYI, when you're subtracting fractions, you have to follow the exact same process, but it's top minus top instead of plus. I know. It's pretty cool. Hey, best of luck in your own adding fraction adventures.